Medical scientists at UCLA and Stanford University find the likelihood of contracting the coronavirus is much, much lower than previously thought. The study, published in late June, says the current probability of becoming infected, going to the hospital, or even death from COVID-19 is, quote, an extremely rare event. The study goes on to say that people are vastly overestimating their chances of getting sick and going to the hospital, especially here in the U.S. As part of the study, doctors reviewed public cases of infection in 100 of the largest counties across the nation. They found that an average person in an average county has a 1 in 3,836 chance of getting infected with coronavirus, and that's without wearing a mask or doing any social distancing. Even the odds of being hospitalized are vanishingly small, even for someone who's in the at-risk category. For an average person between 50 and 64 years old, the chances of getting the virus and needing hospitalization are 1 in 852,000. And for that same person who's at risk, the chances of dying from coronavirus are 1 in 19.1 million. And those figures were for the last week of May, when deaths from coronavirus were 16 times higher than they were last week. Doctors say they were shocked to find out how low the risk of coronavirus really was. It's worth mentioning that compared to the risk of dying from coronavirus, which again is 1 in 19 million, the risk from dying in a car crash is 1 in 114. These figures come after a revelation from the CDC itself that of all deaths attributed to the coronavirus, just 6% actually died from the virus itself. The other 94% had severe underlying medical conditions. Combined with this latest data, the case for keeping the country locked down falls apart and reveals the risk to the American public appears much lower than so-called experts like Dr. Anthony Fauci had.